So everyone's been asking the question, you know, what was the original WWE SummerSlam match? What was it changed, you know, because uh, in case you guys didn't know, we had Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns on Raw last night in the main event to find out who was going to face Seth Rollins for the first ever, to the first ever uh, WWE Universal Champion at SummerSlam in the main event of that pay per view. And, you know, everyone expecting Roman to win. You know, no way Finn Balor can win it, but he won and now he's facing Seth Rollins. You know, People are saying, you know, what was, was he? Was it supposed to be originally Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins? You know, what was, you know, what was going on there? We also have more news as well, so stay tuned. But we're gonna get through that first, this story first. So as seen on Raw last night, and the guys, if you did not see my Raw review, it is available for you right now. So please check it out. Please support the channel. Thank you. Uh, so we saw, so R R Seth Rollins will face Finn Balor for the newly created WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam next month. While the plan had been for WWE to create a new world title, the original plan for SummerSlam has changed. Uh, the original plan, first reported by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, uh, Wrestling Observer, was for Rollins to face Roman Reigns for one of the world titles. Reigns' 30-day suspension for his violation of the Rollins policy uh, cre clearly changed those plans. So yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, it was supposed to be uh, Ro Roman Reigns vs. Seth Rollins for one of the world titles. I guess that would have been the uh, Universal Championship. It's supposed to be him at SummerSlam in the main event, but since Roman Reigns is suspended, they changed it. But I think they're just punishing him right now. I don't think... I think he's still the guy. I still think that down the line he'll get a push to become champion again. Roman Reigns, he's a, he's a great athlete, not gonna lie. I don't like him a lot, but I give him credit. I think he's a really good competitor. I give him props, you know, he's trying, you know, if you don't like him, they should just turn him heel. Um, and he had a good match, matches on Raw last night with Finn Balor, had a great match, awesome match. He gave it his all, but in the end, Finn Balor picked, picked up the victory. So that's going to be an epic match as well. It's our son, Baylor, or Balor, um, and Rollins, they're going to steal the show, they're going to turn the house down, they're going to have a five-star instant classic. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. But, um... Yeah, so I'm guessing Roman, I don't know, they were supposed to have like a feud, but hey, I'm guessing not anymore. Maybe they will, but we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, I think it was the right decision, though. I think Finn Balor should have won to have the new blood, you know, so if they want to truly say this is a new era, Finn Balor did win. Now, everyone's been asking the question, so we're going to transition now to a new gear. So, everyone's been asking, that's enough of that. I think they're going to, yeah, just, yeah. So everyone's been asking the question, was Randy Orton's shot at Brock Lesnar drug test planned? Now, as noted, Randy Orton took a shot at Brock Lesnar's failed UFC 200 drug tests. During an interview with Chris Jericho at WWE around this past Sunday, when Jericho told Orton that Lesnar would be taking him to Suplex City. Um, Orton responded that while he may get repeatedly suplexed, it only takes one RKO to get to Viperville. Quote, no enhancement needed. Um, Dave Meltzer on the uh, noted in the latest episode of Wrestling Observer Radio that Orton did not go off script for that line and that it was actually planned. Now, if you guys didn't know, Lesnar returns to WWE for the first time since WrestleMania 31 and next week's WWE Monday Night Raw in Atlanta. Georgia. So yeah, it was actually planned. Uh, um, yeah, it was, uh, he did not go off script to it with the line it was actually planned so I guess W was trying to dig it to Lesnar was trying to take a shot at Lesnar to let people know that I guess he did fail the UFC tournament but the match is going on at planned at SummerSlam Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar in a big match and I can't wait for it so uh yes yeah, it should be I'm uh, be, it's gonna be looking forward to the build up because they're all on separate well Orton's on Smackdown Lesnar's on Raw so it's gonna be interesting to see how they built this up I mean there's a claim I think it's gonna respond with promos at each other on separate brands like Paul Heyman and, you know, and Conra, and then Randy Orton just responding to that. So I there going to be any physical inter uh, altercation, interaction, you know? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe they'll do a cross-brand few just until summer's done. We'll have to see what happens with all that. But, um, yeah, it was planned. So Orton, the people were all like, oh, that's why Orton's awesome, because he went off script, and, you know, he doesn't care. But that would be actually wanted to put that in there. It's good for the story, you know? It builds. It's telling the story, and it builds up, and it's just, you know, digging that Lesnar, because he wanted to make him mad, you know? You know, just to build the rivalry up, and you know, so we'll have to see what happens. That should be an exciting match. 
So I guess they want to notify everyone that WWE does know about the Dark Souls. Well, I mean, obviously, how wouldn't you, how you, wouldn't you not? But yeah, uh, that's enough for that right now. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay tuned for uh, After Smackdown because I'll be having your WWE full show review, your WWE Smackdown full show review, and the results. Breaking it all down and giving you an in-depth review of what I thought. And so stay tuned for that. And actually, also, stay tuned for another video right after this one. So uh, I got news on the WWE's, well, uh, news on backstage news on the Dudley Boys' is, uh, WWE status. Where have they been and why they haven't been on Raw really that much or, like, wrestling and, you know, what's their update, what's the, what's going on with them, um, the deals and everything, so, and the contracts and all that stuff, so stay tuned guys for that. You get another video after this one, news on that, and a SmackDown review tonight, all tonight, and even any more news that comes up your way. So thank you guys for watching and like this video if you enjoyed, the, if you enjoyed, uh, this video, if you guys enjoyed it, share, show some support, comment to let me know what you guys thought about this, and subscribe if you want more content like this. Peace out.